So in this audio, I would like to make a, a comment about Cobain's so-called case. I would say um, his disappearance uh, case um, because from what I think um, from what I know from what I've been researching for some time about this case I'm not um, absolutely sure of uh, what kind of disappearance it is so we have to define that it's just that it's uh, let's say that he's not video anymore since 1994 and if you consider other cases through history through recent history of a strange uh, disappearances probably you have to doubt and I uh, as a scientist as a historian as a researcher um, uh, while I try to get the, the, the truth I'm still um, doubting things until I don't get uh, enough uh, proof of uh, of uh, what is the truth uh, about so Yes, it's a very enigmatic case, a very strange case that is unclear. Uh, although there's been a lot of research um, done through these 15 years, uh, since 1994, but it seems that it's still unclear. And I guess uh, it would take uh, a long time to, you know find the truth about this like it's happening in some more cases so I just uh, wanted to for some my scientific power research uh, and personal views on this on this case like, which I'm not sure like I've mentioned because it's so enigmatic um, I would like to do this as an introduction introduction to this um, to this to this topic and yet just as a part of um, my my research in this um, actually is very difficult to uh, to do it because it's uh, very complex and very um, unclear. Um, although I've been researching it for a long time and I had projects of text and audio and video about it, um, I think I hadn't uh, uh, really put myself to do it, like a specific uh, audio about it. Although the project is ongoing, and I have done some other um, other um, audios and videos about it, so, um, also text. So this is part of it, and I guess I will be uh, continue this uh, this um, research through the through the years. But I'm very interested in this. I always been interested in. in Enigmatic cases in history, and I've done some, um, a number of, of projects and a number of values considering different topics I've researched. But the, to the character, the historical character, Corcoin, just as Jesus of Nazareth, are super enigmatic and very interesting for me. And those are two of my main projects, uh, and these are two of the people who have more most influenced me. Um, to whom I feel more identified. So, uh, for example, I've done some about Jesus. Some about Jesus. I've done uh, another one which is on YouTube also about um, about um, about Kurt Cobain. Uh, it's just part one of that very minute, like this one. But in that case, it was more about his life in general. Now, I have wanted because I've been the last couple of weeks uh, getting again into the into the project into the topic so I just felt like I had the need to show my 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 concerns and my opinions about this and also my findings which I think is the most important the facts about it so I think it's a not an easy topic at all but when you start studying the topic and there's a lot of people who are into it researching on it it's really weird. It's really strange. Um, like I was saying before, it's unclear. When I say disappearance, 
I don't have enough proof, so I say maybe. I would say this is not very probable at all, but it's a possibility that he just, uh, like, I've been, I've seen, like, he could have uh, faked that. You know, that's one of the possibilities, it's not my favorite, but he could have faked that disappearance and, you know, uh, just hide from, from, from the world he was probably bored with. But I think this is, uh, this is very unlikely. And, and um, well, I don't think that's from what I know. I don't know in everything, but from what I know about going, I would say that's not his, his style. The other thing, the other possibility, suicide, which I think is not his style either. Um, from the research I've been done, I've been more prone to the conclusion, or closer to the conclusion that uh, he, he was uh, he was murdered. Um, it's difficult to say, but I mean, most of the research that has been done, and I think the most um, inclusive research and strong research with uh, evidence and um, arguments are of those who have uh, agreed to the possibility of, of a conspiracy and a murder, in this case, a homicide of a point. Um, so anyway, I'm not sure what is the answer for this, but I, I just think when I just study this uh, conspiracy theory, theory, it's very interesting when you study the facts objectively without any judgment or a priori judgment it seems that every points out perhaps uh, Tom Grant has said to the fact that um, that there was something strange eerie and weird about this case and that probably he was uh, he was murdered it just seems that all the evidence was at that way, not thinking subjectively, but objectively, it seems that that's the case. When you analyze all the different sources concerning the case, it seems that so. That's uh, it seems to be more likely, and it's difficult anyway. It's difficult. So um, anyway, um, since I discard discarding the possibility. Uh, a highly discarded possibility of, of him faking the disappearance or he, him um, coming in well not that much but possibly because you know why because it seems that he was happy that he had plans uh, for all things in his life at that particular point circa April 1994 and there's uh, just um, you know, evidence that he would have been suicidal at all uh, it was in different things. Of course, I'm going to forget many things right now. But uh, from the things I can remember, he had bought uh, some tickets to travel. He was planning to play with um, uh, the frontman of R.E.M. Um, he wanted to get divorced of, um, of Courtney Love. Mm -hmm. He was planning a trip with his uh, grandfather. Uh, Leland Cohen, who is also someone who, who agrees on, on this conspiracy theory. Um, he was, um, for, for example, buying um, a gun um, through his friend Dylan Carson, who is another interesting character in this, in this uh, theory, uh, because uh, he wanted to be. Uh, protected he was it seems and this is very interesting oh uh, you know from the scientific point of view uh, uh, he wants to protect himself from intruders to the house it seems that the house was not the mansion I would say was not protected but it also seems that he was scared as Grant some Grant mentions uh, of, of his life he felt threatened and it's possible on this card that I don't rule it out that he was being threatened by the the music industry you could say that was pushing him uh, 